Today on Toy Shiz Calling All Creatures of the Night, have I got a video for you. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, and I'm super stoked because today we are totally checking out the brand new BAM Toy Co. Samhain action figure based on the real Ghostbusters villain of the same name. He comes with multiple head portraits, and I am just so stoked to have this. Again, this is 100% a fan-made creation, not affiliated with Ghostbusters, Ghost Core, or Sony. But if you're not familiar with Sam Hain, he basically made two big appearances in the original real Ghostbusters with numerous cameo appearances here and there. But his main big episode was when Halloween was forever. And he was a big scary pumpkin dude. Basically some zone dweebies unleash him from his stone prison and he starts to take over New York and he meets up with Slimer and realizes he's got the stench of mortals on him and he almost kills Slimer or whatever he was gonna do to him. It was never really clear. Anyways, the short of it is the Ghostbusters show up and bingo bango, they stop him. Now, this particular Samhain figure looks to be kind of based off his second appearance, which was Halloween two and a half and involved the junior Ghostbusters. And while it sports some amazing animation to it, it's not exactly the best episode, I'll just say. Go watch When Halloween Was Forever. It is a much better episode. And yes, before anybody comments, I understand Sam Hain was his name in the real Ghostbusters where it should have been Samhain and all that other jazz, but guess what? In the real Ghostbusters and how I will always know him, he is Sam Hain. Anyways, let's get into this. This is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of ectoplasm. This is a look at the brand new fan-made Sam Hain action figure by Bam Toy Co. So to kick things off, there's no packaging for this guy, so we'll just start looking right at his multiple pumpkin heads. This one, he's got a real nice smirk going on, nice pumpkin head, right? Love the little stem at the top. It's painted really nicely overall. Nice wash to it. That's his little neck dealie right there. Now this, again, like I said, looks to be based more off his second appearance from Halloween two and a half. He doesn't have the pupils. He's a lot more bulbous in the head, less of a pumpkin head, like this one kind of shows, but it's, to be honest, it's kind of like a mishmash between the two designs. The same thing with this one painted nicely. I like that you can see his teeth. Samhain always had these really ugly, gross teeth, but they're so appealing. You know what I mean? They're just ugh in a way. But much like the other one, this looks like it's ripped straight from the cartoon showing his teeth. It's a very evil, like I'm getting upset sort of head. And I love again that you can see his teeth. He always had such great teeth to him. So to kind of show you the difference between the two, more of a smirk, you're not gonna take me down past midnight. This one, yeah, he's all upset. But to really check out this big mamma jamma right here flying in, this guy is spooky and he's great and I love this head portrait. That really shows that he's just angry. You've taken him to the next level and he's just not having it. The purple on him, the hands, the fingernails, very pointy, very deadly, I'm gonna say. I love the way his cloak robe is designed. It's very billowy. It's very jagged. It's very much Samhain. And then you can see all the different folds, which are expertly crafted, by the way. This looks like material, and it is very cool. I love the way it kind of billows and flattens out as it hits the ground, gives him a nice base to stand. He is hollow inside, but it is painted all the way through. So that's really cool. Maybe I get some light piping going inside the head. That would be kind of cool in the body maybe too. He has minimal articulation, which does work with the Kenner figures of old, right? So it's basically just in the arms. They'll go up and down for my taste. Fits in perfectly with Kenner. I don't need any more, but hey, if you ever go back and make a more articulated one, that'd be great. The head will spin. This figure is just a lot of fun. It really just achieves all manner of looks for Sam Hain, and he had the best facial expressions in the show just reaching out grabbing yelling at egon yelling at the ghostbusters slimer what have you now swapping the heads is pretty easy you just kind of pull them out and pop them back in this one's a little bit loose it's the only one that's loose but for my taste again it's just going to be sitting on a shelf so it's definitely not going to go anywhere just don't flip him upside down i guess you could say but nice rotation in that sense this one in particular is very snug, a lot more snug than the other two, which, hey, that works. You can actually flip him over if you wanted to go that route. But if they are ever to go back and produce 
more heads for Samhain. Like I said, he had the best facial expressions, and I would totally buy more if you ever did more. Wink, wink. <laughs> but in either case, this guy is a lot of fun. The outstretched hands, everything else, he is just very, very cool. Now, when you want to pair him up with the real Ghostbusters figures, the Kenner originals, or you could say the Hasbro ones as well that they just re-released, he will scale beautifully with them. If you look at Samhain, much like the Boogeyman, his scaling is every which way. But in all honesty, I would say it's a nice neutral territory when looking at Samhain. Now, if you do have the Diamond Select real Ghostbuster figures, unfortunately, he's going to be too small scale-wise. However, I do recommend the Mattel Samhain for these figures in particular. And if you're wondering how he scales with Slimer, if you wanted to kind of smush him and all that kind of stuff, this one, of course, is too big. But yeah, it's still fun to see all these together, right? I do, however, recommend the Slimer that came in the two-pack from Mattel that featured Janine and Samhain along with the Firehouse. I think that just in terms of the size of this Slimer, it works well. It also works well with a lot of other Ghostbusters. So to be honest, there really has only been one other Samhain that could be classified as an action figure that could match up with your other Ghostbuster figures. The Mattel one in particular, I really feel matches the cartoon a little bit better, both in the robe and the brighter colors of the orange of his head. Not to say that the BAM Toyco doesn't achieve this, I just think it's a little bit too dark in either sense. However, in various cameo appearances on the show, he did have more of a purple robe. So it's kind of, again, a mishmash of the first appearance, his second appearance, cameos, and just kind of putting their own little spin into things. And I appreciate that for what it is. And of course, if you saw my video last year, we have the Boogeyman figure. This was their first real Ghostbusters foray, an amazing toy. I have the full video up on this guy, but with 2021, now we got a second sophomore year real Ghostbusters figure, and I couldn't be happier. And I would say overall, because of sizing and changing and everything else, these two match up pretty dang good. If you were wondering how the Mattel Ghostbusters, both the 2016 and the originals, kind of match up with Samhain, I would say it's right around that wheelhouse. It works, and it kind of doesn't, both at the same time. The new Hasbro Plasma series, I would say, much like the Mattel, it might be a little bit too short, but you could kind of fudge it in there if you really wanted to go that route. And I will tell you, if you're going more for the Fright Features Ghostbusters that Hasbro's putting out now, he actually fits rather well. It's kind of fun to have the original Kenner-styled Ghostbusters with this Samhain. Now, Samhain has appeared in multiple variations of the Ghostbusters universe. Comics, toys, offshoots, what have you. But he did appear in the Extreme Ghostbusters cartoon. All bites, he really only appeared in the opening credits. But it did warrant an action figure for Wave 1. It's not very good at all. Diamond Select did a real Ghostbusters Samhain figure as well, both of which I do have. I have them somewhere. For Halloween, I will locate them and I will pull them out. We'll have a good look at everybody for Samhain. But the main two ones are the Mattel and now this Bam Toy Co. one. The best part about all of this is he looks so cool with the old real Ghostbusters Kenner figures. He's just having a ball calling all things not of this world it looks great now i will say again i do wish that the paint of him of his pumpkin flesh his hands was a little bit brighter a little bit more orange just to kind of coincide better with the cartoon it's a little bit too dark in the sense i guess of all the other real ghostbuster toys are very brightly colored but it doesn't take away from the fact that it's really nicely designed sculpted painted and everything else so for me it works also the stem of his pumpkin it should be kind of going the other way it varies but it should be going the other way just to be honest but in either case it is extremely well done this is a fantastic figure and i highly recommend if you're interested go ahead and contact bam toyco on facebook i'll put a link in the description below and also please do keep in mind this is a fan made creation it's not overly articulated. He's got multiple pumpkin heads, which is amazing. It's exactly what it should be. It's the figure we've all been wanting for years and years and years that Kenner never did, but now we have it. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Bam Toyko fan-made Samhain action figure. 
Is it for you? Do you have one on the way? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Samhain. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, get ready for the pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice lattes. Because they're going to be everywhere very soon. In fact, they already are. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Thank you.